I've been up for 20 hours and I'm really tired, so please forgive me if I do some subtle pauses. But today we're going to talk about effectiveness of monetary policy and we're going to go through this curve first. Now, what I want you to remember, and this is crucial, is that uh, we want to have an effective monetary policy, there's going to be, there has to be big changes and these big changes is what I will talk about. Now, let's start off saying that we change MS1 to MS2. Now, it is more effective for when changing M well, changing MS is more effective in changing I when we have MD steep. What I mean by this is that, let's say, yeah, we change MS1 to MS2. Now, the bigger change happens when uh, we have MD steep because I moves more. MD flat, I doesn't barely move, it moves a little. So, yeah. Uh, it's more effective. Does more, when we're talking about more effective, I mean, we mean that there's a bigger change, and so it's more effective when we have MD steep. So changing MS is more effective in changing I when we have MD steep, and when we have MD steep, just want you to remember this is a fact that money and bonds are not easily substituted when we have MD steep, and yeah, this point pretty much talks about uh, that. Uh, it requires a big change in I for MD steep to equal MD flat on the same change of MS. So for MD steep to get from MD1 to M MS2, it requires a big change in I to get to equilibrium. But for MD for MD flat to for MD flat to get from MS1 to MS2 it requires just a small little change to get to equilibrium. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know for this graph. For the next graph, it's pretty much the same thing with some subtle differences. And pretty much what you need to know is that ID is, yeah, it's labeled here as investment demand. And changing the interest rate is more effective in changing the output. Why when investment demand is flat? So our investment, yeah, when our investment demand is flat, that means our investment is sensitive to I. So we have this flat, uh, investment demand curve and we have the steep investment demand curve. Now we're looking at the changes according to the horizontal but not not the vertical so you can see that the investment demand uh, actually changes pretty little when with the same changes in I but but uh, the investment demand changes a lot when uh, when we when we have flat investment demand curve, and that is just how it is. So, uh, so yeah, changing investment, uh, changing the investment rate is more effective in changing output. Why when investment demand is flat, and when it's flat, the investment is sensitive to I, and this uh, works with this money demand. So the f the last point is that money the monetary policy is most effective in changing the output. Why when MD is steep and ID is flat. When ID is flat, then investment is sensitive to I. But when we have MD steep, it causes a change, big change in the interest rate. So this big change in interest rate works together with uh, an ID flat curve because the investment is sensitive to Y, making even greater changes in the economy in the whole as uh, in general as a whole. So that is all I want to talk about today. I hope I kept this video short and please rate, comment, subscribe. It's really important to me and thanks for watching. I'm going to go to sleep now.